If you're born in the USA and have a talent for music, it would seem that fate has placed you in the land of infinite opportunity. Jeffrey Iqbal found himself in that fortunate position, but then he decided that his true purpose of his life lay on a more eastward path. This set him on course to become a true Bollywood-style performer, as you're about to see. Born in the USA, Jeff Rigbal was introduced to Eastern music by his parents. They soon noticed that their son had an ear for music. After learning various instruments, he decided to focus on vocals, making his breakthrough in 2007 when he was selected for India's Saregamapa TV talent show. He also got the eye and ear of India's music maestro A.R. Rahman, and so he headed off to India. I'm at the Lyric Theatre in Johannesburg to see reality singing star Jeffrey Iqbal perform live in concert. The Osmonds, tell me why you made the choice to bring Jeffrey Iqbal to South Africa. For the love of music and for the love of our South African audiences. Jeffrey represents unity through music and him being half Pakistani, half Indian and fully American. It's going to show us that music unites all. Although Jeffrey was eventually first runner-up in Saregamapa 2008, his vocal abilities opened doors in the industry and he's performed alongside international stars including Shreya Goshal. Jeffrey, welcome to Mela and welcome to South Africa. Thank you, thank you very much. Where did your love of music come from? My mom and dad both had their role. My mom was the one that forced me to learn and my dad was the one that forced me on stage. So I would say music, it's a bittersweet thing because I get super nervous. I, I get a lot of like anxiety a little bit, but at the same time, there's no better high than it. You're known for your fusion music and of course your fans love it. Is it a difficult thing to do? Anything that you have to put effort in, it's certainly difficult. One of the worst things I'm sure we all have is like, you know, you have to do some kind of research or you have to do some kind of work and after a few hours, you're just burnt but I can spend 15 hours straight in the studio working on something and I'm just alive the whole time. I'm always the one waking everyone else. I'm like, come on, let's do more, let's do more. That's why I love it so much is because it just doesn't feel like work. It feels like fun. Describe the moment when Eha Rahman called your name to perform. This was actually my last reach out to music because I had given music like a good eight year break and I wasn't going to do it anymore. I didn't realize that when I got there that Rahman himself was going to be auditioning me. When he was announcing who the winner would be, he called my name the whole crowd parted and I looked up and I don't think I ever smiled that much in my life but that performance was probably the moment that I realized that I wanted to become a performer a singer and more into music because I got to perform in front of 15,000 people and it just felt amazing wow that's incredible do you find it easy to amalgamate of course, being American and growing up in America and your Indian and Pakistani heritage and culture. I think that's what unity through music is. I used to identify myself as one thing and the other thing and then and I just realized we're all the same people, we're all human beings, we're all from the same place, wherever that may be. It's no longer about geography and religion and gender and age and none of that. It's to me about just human to human, just feeling good and just loving one another and leading with love. <laughs> What was it like creating a track for a Bollywood feature film? That was really unexpected. The day I was recording it, a movie director happened to come in and listen to me recording it. And when I walked out of the booth, he says, I want to make you the first American-born Bollywood playback singer. I want this song for my film. I was like, done. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is, it's yours, bro. And lastly, do you have a message for South African fans? Are you coming back? People have just been so amazing. They've been so friendly. They've been so sweet. And you can just see it genuinely in their eyes. So I would say nothing else than be the same. And I'll be back soon, hopefully. Great. Thank you so much for chatting to us on Mela. Thank you so much. Doors are open and the setup is looking very cool. There's definitely a vibe and I'm going to take my seat. What's up, Joe Bird? How's everybody doing? It's so good to see you all here. This is so beautiful.
bless you all. Definitely the best live show I've seen thus far. He sings so well and he's got the most fantastic stage personality. It's crazy to think that a couple of years ago, Jeffrey was just a normal guy singing in his bedroom. And now he's on stage serenading international audiences. The show was incredible. The sound, lights, production were perfect. What a night.